<laughs> Methinks thou doth protest too much, but there you go. My next guest flipped her seat red by defeating first-term Democrat uh, Max Rose. And she is one of 17 Republican women newly elected to Congress. Come in, New York Congresswoman-elect Nicole Maliotakis. Congratulations, first of all. Uh, Thank you. Nicole did defund the police. Did that help you win? You know, it was definitely part of my campaign. Uh, my campaign was a lot of it was centered on law and order. And when I hear Bernie Sanders says, let the police do their jobs, well, you know what, we're not, they're taking away the tools for them to do their jobs and the resources to do their jobs. And that's really part of the problem. Mayor de Blasio cut a billion dollars from the NYPD budget. And you hear people like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez say, that's not defunding, it's not enough. It's never enough to the socialists. And that's the problem. And the more you see the Democrats kowtowing to that, them, you know, the bigger mess they're going to be in as a party. Yeah, Congresswoman-elect, uh, more than 300,000 New Yorkers have reportedly left the city in the last eight months. The virus is getting to him, growing crimes getting to him. How do you get those people back? Well, first of all, we need a new mayor, that's for sure. Uh, we, look, we need the mayor to work with us. We want to reopen our economy. We got to get people back to work. We know more about this virus than we did six months ago. Uh, as you mentioned earlier, vaccine is coming very soon. So we need to take the proper precautions, but we can't continue to just shut down our economy and have these uh, you know, burdensome mandates. Small businesses are getting killed by this mayor. They are, they are basically uh, shaking them down for, with violations and inspections constantly. So they're really suffering. And then you mentioned the crime. So we need to reverse some of these policies that have been put in place that have led to sky, skyrocketing crime in New York, murder, shooting, uh, uh, burglaries are up. People feel less safe. Uh, so the, it's a combination of the quality of life, the increase in crime, and the economy. So we need to reverse some of these policies that have been put in place under Mayor de Blasio. Now, just a few days ago, Governor Cuomo, Governor of New York, Cuomo, he said he would delay the vaccine because he doesn't trust the president, President Trump. Then President Trump said, OK, I'm not going to send it to New York if you're not going to distribute it properly. Now Cuomo is saying, well, he's going to sue the president. Are we going to get a delay in getting the vaccine in New York because of politics? This is a problem that Cuomo created for himself. The reality is, is that this should not be political. You know, scientists and medical professionals worked overtime to get this vaccine, and we need to get it to the frontline workers and our most vulnerable as soon as possible. So Governor Cuomo should just accept the vaccine like every other state and get it to our New Yorkers who really, really need it. Uh, Congresswoman, uh, Congresswoman elect, I should say, uh, Nicole Meliotakis, Republican from New York City. I find that absolutely incredible. But congratulations. It was great to have you on the show. Don't be a stranger. Welcome back. Good I appreciate that. Thank sure you. Thing.